a mananashilavan, one who is wanting to reach out to the higher through contemplation, he must continuously and constantly be alert and vigilant for the condition of the mind and keep the mind calm and serene at all times. If your attention is not always there, policing the mind, have you seen the, 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 uh, what is it, the large public meetings where bamboos are cut. Each individual has to remain only in that corner and 20,000 people are sitting. They are all brought from the village for this purpose, in a truck. So in the truck, they waited for the truck for one hour, then in the truck two and a half hours. Then as soon as they got down from the truck, they were driven into this meeting place. And in the meeting place, another three hours they waited for the meeting to start. And all the time, all around, policemen are there with the long bamboo sticks. That is because the policemen want some support to hang on. <laughs> It is at that time that an old man slowly gets up because he couldn't keep it anymore in his bladder. <laughs> it is more than five hours and therefore he wants to go. The moment he wakes up, the bamboo stick comes, Hey! Baitoma! Baitoma! Why? That has been told that nobody should go because we have spent money and brought them here and they should not roam about. The man helplessly look at him. <laughs> again, after ten minutes, the old man again gets up. <laughs> the bamboo stick comes. <laughs> you suffer and decide that next time when they bring the bus, I will not get into the free, free transport. But he is not allowed to get up until at last he does it where he is sitting <laughs> That is why after this public meeting, you can't go into that field. <laughs> it is terrible. I'm told that if you, such, if you want to organize such large meetings, you give a contract for putting those bamboos. A price of bamboo as well as the work, workmanship you pay. But at the end of it, you have to remove it. You have to pay one and a half times the wages. Workers will not come. Why? <laughs> you have to remove it, isn't it? They want a dhoti to be put around. <laughs> In the same way, don't allow the stupid, sensuous thoughts to rise in the mind. Ah, is it right? The thought in the mind will say, just a little, let me think. No! That's vigilant. Don't allow. Until at last, no more will it get up. Why? It does it there itself. <laughs> So then, next time, when you hear policing the mind means all these pictures must come, so that there will be no doubts about it. How can, how can it be, how can it be? Look at the tragedy of that old man. He had to sit up. Karanam, tenananda rasanu bhuti achala brahmi sada yoginaha stasma therefore Chitta nirodha yeva satatam kari. At all times, a spiritual student must accept, must pursue this vigilant attention of the mind and never allow the mind to jump up in imagination, worries of the past, anxieties of the future. Don't allow it. Bang it. Keep going. Ram, Ram. 